they were honestly trying to figure out this whole crazy crackpot time cube thing. Blow my mind in a moment. Well, you don't like America? You can just leave, boy. You don't like it? Get on out. If it's if you're 81 years old, you're either sitting inside, rotting away watching television, or you're out at the bridge club uh, playing s- s- tennis or gardening. I'm talking about the numbers. We will reduce commercial time by 25%. What's the website, by the way, um, for that? That's how it sounds. And let them have a happy life. And I can't say I disagree with that. What is it that they have implemented now that will keep us all so safe? Well, was it tidy whities or boxers? And now they're in big trouble for it. So there's no doubt that we're dealing with some sick efforts here. And she'll ask me, oh, did you see what, you know, did you see so-and-so or did you see this after we've left somewhere? And I'll say, no. (laughs) I hope he goes through with this and I hope he's successful and I hope a bunch of conservative talk show hosts get very angry about it. She's got no job. She's got nothing to do except gardening. I mean, that's what she does, right? Well, is he still alive? What are you talking about? What's on your mind, sir? Go ahead. Yeah, I understand. Wow, 72 people live in hell. I know A squared plus B squared equals C squared, though. That's not going to go away. Inconclusive evidence. They're going to use the force on you. When government creates a program, it creates unintended consequences. It doesn't matter how wonderful the ends were. Well, now, why would you have black eyes? So you wouldn't lock me in jail? You wouldn't find me or anything like that? Hang on. I'm glad you brought that up. Well, what are you going to do when you've got a dead body on your hands? Um, we could eventually, um, but that's going to take a little bit of money. That's going to take a little bit of effort. And okay. both of those two things I don't have uh, either of right now. <laughs> He's just a terrorist. <laughs> and I support voluntary market-based alternatives. Not only is it stupid, but it's scary. I was a child prostitute, I suppose. Yep. (laughs) I'm independent because I disagree with George Bush on one issue. It is possible. I saw something about it being uh, National Masturbation Month. Poop in a bucket. That's enough rape talk for tonight. There you go. They won a wall. We like freedom. We've written a law. What's on your mind? It's possible. She's got time. I mean, they could have kept it up if they'd all stayed together and stayed strong Mm -hmm. on this. We got more stuff to talk about. Well, let's explore. What do you have to say to that? What Fox News are you watching? You just go and grab him up. He had sex with a gay man. So did they pretty much just shove something up your nostrils? He might actually have to blow into a tube. What do you do in that case? What's your scale? They're not even going to describe them, Mark. They're going to keep them secret. We have got a lot to talk about here tonight. But I didn't feel like there was much going on down there. Well, how do they... What are they? Is there a Christian identity card? If the good men don't stand up finally and fight against this uh, g- evil government, uh, then it, it absolutely will and is getting worse. I mean, if you've got a big collection like that, you might as well open up a museum. You know, it's kind of like a political wank fest. They could put up a fight. That would be fascism. <laughs> it doesn't matter if you can read it. They'll just interpret it, uh, interpret it differently. We'll all be paying for it. I can't say I disagree with that. One plus two plus three equals seven, apparently, and so they decided to uh, go through with this without really thinking about it. The fact is, gay people exist, and they're going to continue to exist. Yeah. What's that all about? Fuckity fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> that is a risky gamble at best. They're slaves to the state, too. And yep. they've been paid off, big time. They want roving bands of uh, ninjas in the backs <laughs> of trucks uh, to put a stop to this. We can tell you more about that in a little while. Let me tell you, you can't figure it out. Uh, I think Gargamel's the guy from the Smurfs. Yeah, well, it's the books about him, isn't it? He's the main character. Let's go. They we, don't want to pull out. Yeah, it's pretty firm. I mean, we've heard it. We've heard it all. And maybe it was only for Republicans and Democrats. Maybe it was only for the major parties to get so-called equal time. That thing can't uh, can't be very cheap to operate. I think it's outrageous. It's just one more step down the road towards this totalitarian, fascist state that we're living in, where everybody's giving up all their private in, uh, private information to the government. That's what I thought. Touching each other. Don't tear up my balls. Oh, boo-hoo. Why don't you go cry tonight? We would have gone in there and just essentially thrown a bomb into the entire um, assembly, and it would have been totally different. He's just uh, a douchebag. I love Jesus. I've noticed that as well. Smoking marijuana even more than 22,000 joints in a lifetime doesn't increase cancer risk. Like what? Shouldn't you at least be honest? Well, of course they're going to say that. At least until they leak out at some point, and then we'll find out how atrocious they really are. But by that point, it'll be too late. I haven't actually turned it down. Oh, yeah, absolutely. That much is the case. That's fine. You are a man after my own heart. All right. Well, anyway, does that seem like a, a violation of your privacy? Of your rights to do business as you please in the manner of the, in the manner and the fashion of your choosing? We'll still never be able to figure it out. 
Graves. Are we really going to have uh, C4 penile bombs coming soon? This is your show. It is free. Yeah, absolutely. How will that feel? I've never done anything like this. You know, I think the Lakota Nation should be, uh, you know, sort of the bellwether of things to come. That would be hell for me. Us radical property rights activists. What do we need to do about it? And the suggestion was that um, it doesn't take as much... Uh, it, you don't need much in the way of equipment because how to buy a prostitute it was a nice gesture. We're not going to do that. We already did it. Wherever there's things going Zoom, your baby probably shouldn't be allowed to be nearby. Well, I'd like to let you know that I don't drink. I thought I should introduce myself. I don't understand how you can be so into uh, sports that you would want to be violent outside of the sporting arena. Are we talking about a sweet pea? Are we talking about a green pea? I mean... I hope to see you in New Hampshire. I mean, when do these things end? Is he actually making money at it? <laughs> so, apparently, uh, one legislator wants to change this law. I notice you've got a hands-free device hanging out of your ear. That's a bit disturbing. The host of Against the Grain. You're using the same excuse that these uh, nationalists do. You choose, you lose. I, I find I'm not attracted to, to most sports. You're on Free Talk Live with Ian and Mark. You know, uh, the more black people there are around, the cooler a place is. 